Okay, I wanted to do a quick video on how to configure these Mac Minis and what we recommend for the various packages. Um, real quick, I'm going to show you the package deals that we offer. Um, you can pretty much click on the package deals link um, on the web page, and uh, if you scroll down to Mac Mini Music Server Packages and click that, uh, it'll give you an idea of some of the packages that we offer. Uh, brass, copper, and silver. Um, and if you click on the image, it'll give you a larger version of the different packages and their price points and the various configurations uh, just between the, the power supply, DC cable, um, internal wiring harness, and shielding and vibration absorption that we offer. Um, and that's kind of a good way to get a baseline for how to configure your Mac Mini. Um, our most popular package is the copper package. We probably sell about 95% um, the copper package. Um, so I usually recommend that people follow this as a guideline. Uh, we sell very few of the brass package um, and uh, actually sell more of the silver package uh, than the brass. So I generally recommend starting with the copper um, and configure in this way. Uh, so let's take a look at the actual Mac Mini uh, configuration. Um, this is our Mac Mini page. These are the configuration options that you'll see when you come to the Mac Mini page. Um, the base price that you're seeing here uh, is, if we're doing the modification, uh, is just our level one power supply, the level one DC cable, and the level one internal wiring harness. Um, if you wanted the kit version of that, uh, you can just check the check box that says kit version here. You can see that it subtracts $100 from that. Um, so let's just start from the beginning. Uh, the AC power, the AC voltage is pretty self-explanatory. Um, we can configure it either to 120 or 230 volts. Uh, there's no additional charge for doing that. Um, that's just done uh, in the factory when we're doing the assembly. Um, we only currently offer one power supply, but we do have customizations uh, in terms of adding a second power supply rail, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, the DC cable and the internal wiring harness. So you'll see that here, uh, the levels uh, one through five. Um, the DC cable is extremely important, and, and that's basically because uh, the DC cable is directly tied into the output stage of the power supply regulation circuit. Um, so any inductance and capacitance uh, on that uh, on that DC cable is going to tra translate to a decreased transient response in the power supply, uh, which in turn means uh, that the power supply is going to have less filter bandwidth and it won't filter as high frequency uh, of noise. Um, and so generally you want to get the better DC cables fairly early on in your upgrades because they do make a fairly significant difference. Um, and generally it just means uh, that the power supply is going to act uh, or going to perform to a higher and higher level. Um, that is part of the reason that we got rid of our internal power filters because with our latest uh, power supplies, the transient response is actually so fast that the filters inside the Mac Mini actually degraded the performance. Uh, so now the internal wiring harnesses um, are much higher performance and offer uh, much better sound quality. Uh, so generally I would start your upgrades with the internal wiring harnesses. Uh, the level one DC cable correlates to the level one wiring harness. They both use the same kind of wire. Um, if you're looking at the different levels, uh, this the level one is just a generic molded cable. Um, as you get into the level two, three, um, what we're improving is the quality of what the wire braid um, and the, the amount of wire, um, as well as the dielectric that we're using in the effort to decrease the capacitance and inductance on those wires. Um, when you get into the levels four and five, uh, the level four we actually use a combination of a copper wire and a, uh, a um, a silver wire, and the silver wire is used for the live conductor, uh, whereas the copper is used for ground on the level four, and then when you get to the level five, it's a variable gauge size, um, ultra pure silver uh, wire braid, and it's extremely expensive, but very, very effective. It's the cable that we use in the silver package, um, and for those who are looking for much better performance, it is a significant upgrade over the lower end cables. Um, down at the uh, level two, the secondary power label, uh, power rail here, uh, the you'll see that um, we offer various voltages uh, for the secondary rail. 
Um, generally, people use the secondary rail either to power another uh, digital to analog converter. They can use it to power external hard drives. Uh, and this is a true second power supply rail. So we're not just duplicating the first rail. Uh, we're actually adding uh, an additional power supply circuit to the chassis, um, which can also be scaled in terms of output current. So it can uh, theoretically power two fairly high current devices uh, if you'd like to do that. Um, and then you choose the same thing, better DC cables. Um, the hardwired DC cable only applies to our higher level cables. I wouldn't recommend doing it for the low level cables. Um, obviously, you can't, we can't offer that as a kit, um, but if we're doing the modification for you, uh, we basically hardwire the, the DC cable to the Mac Mini, um, and then you'd still have that removable from the power supply itself. Um, and this eliminates the barrel connector on the back of the Mac Mini, which um, is arguably uh, a little bit of a cheap connector, so eliminating that does improve your sound quality. Uh, the cryo shield uh, is really important. It's uh, we're coming at we have another version of it that we're coming out with. There's going to be a, a higher end version of it, um, but basically what it is, it's a multi-layer shielding material uh, that alternates uh, between shielding and absorption at various frequencies in multiple layers, um, and this helps to increase the bandwidth of the shielding material. Um, it has an isol insulation layer um, as the base layer, uh, so it can actually be applied directly to the Mac Mini logic board uh, on both sides of the logic board, um, which is far more effective, especially as you get into the higher frequencies, um, than, than just applying it to the, the chassis itself. Um, this stuff, the Mac Mini computer, RAM, and solid state drive, uh, that's all fairly self-explanatory. The basic stack Mac Mini is, uh, is the off-the-shelf Mac Mini that you'd buy from Apple. Um, the silver package does have a, a customized, uh, custom-built version of the Mac Mini that we offer only with the silver package. Um, and obviously you can supply your own Mac Mini for modification as well. Um, for most people, 8 gigs of RAM is, is all that you'll need. Uh, some people do 16 gigs if you're doing uh, DSD playback, and, and that is worth getting the extra RAM for. Uh, the solid state drive, usually I recommend a 60 gig solid state drive, uh, and then store your music externally on a network attached storage. Um, uh, it's usually not worth spending the money on the ex the, the better drives. Uh, the Enterprise solid-state drives are far more reliable. They're much faster, um, and there is a, a moderate improvement to sound quality. Um, but generally, I leave that for the silver package because there's a lot of other upgrades to do before before upgrading to an enterprise solid state drive in terms of sound. Um, external storage is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, kit version. Um, and uh, the equipment feat uh, is also really good. The, the Atomic platform I highly, highly, highly recommend. Uh, that was demoed for us uh, back at the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest uh, in uh, 2013. And it was hugely impactful to the sound, uh, made a very nice difference. Uh, the Atomic platform is the, the company, Atomic Audio Labs, measured the resonant frequency of the Mac Mini. Uh, and then they designed their platform to be out of phase with that resonance uh, to cancel out all internal resonances in the, in the, pla in the Mac Mini. Um, and so it's extremely effective. Uh, we were using the Still Points Ultra 5s under the Mac Mini and offering various Still Points upgrades, uh, but the, the Atomic Platform uh, is substantially cheaper and substantially uh, more effective. Uh, so we started offering the platform for our customers, and I definitely recommend uh, doing that. I think it's actually more impactful to the sound than the, uh, the shielding upgrade, um, unless you're going with our higher end shielding upgrade that we'll be offering. Um, the Still Points Ultra Minis uh, go under the power supply. Um, the power supply, because it operates at such high frequencies, uh, can be very sensitive to high frequency vibration. Um, and uh, having good equipment feed under it can be very effective. Um, obviously, high frequency vibration is going to generate a magnetic field, uh, which generates small, uh, high frequency noise uh, into the power supply and, and can degrade the performance. Uh, so having the still points under the power supply is, is very worthwhile as well, um, along with the, uh, the atomic platform as a package. Um, and that offers uh, several different customizations that you guys can do. Um, generally, I would start upgrading the DC cable um, and follow that with, um, with the atomic platform um, and then the cryo shielding. 
um, and then we can talk about upgrading the uh, the DC cables a little bit further. Um, the copper package, uh, the one that I recommended earlier on in the video, uh, has the DC uh, level three and the level three internal wiring, um, along with the cryo shielding um, and atomic platform. Um, and obviously the, the package deals on that page include a Mac Mini, um, eight gigs of RAM, um, and a 60 gig solid state drive, unless you go with the silver package, which uses an enterprise drive, uh, and 16 gigs of RAM, um, along with the better DC cables. Um, so that should at least give you guys an idea of how to configure this Mac Mini. Um, obviously, if you need more help or you want an idea of what's good for your particular system, you can always uh, message us through through our chat interface here. Um, give me a call or uh, shoot me an email, and I'm happy to spend a little bit of time with you uh, configuring your system and uh, getting something that's going to not only give you the best bang for the buck, but also the best sound you can possibly have out of your Mac Mini. Um, we've really brought the Mac Mini a long way in the last few years, and, and the performance that you can get from the Mac Mini is, is absolutely stellar. Um, obviously, you can see if you want to do the, the kit version, do the modification yourself. Uh, we do have a video guide on how to replace the internal power supply uh, and install our wiring harness. Um, and that's fairly easy to follow. We also have another link at the bottom um, of this video so that you can uh, follow a picture step-by-step -step guide on, on how to do the modification and take the Mac Mini apart. Um, and obviously we're happy to help with, with that. Um, and uh, that's pretty much the Mac Mini system. Uh, thank you so much for watching.